COVID-19 is closing in on the morning show. The season's penultimate episode, Testimony, reveals Zuba anchor Alex Levy, Jennifer Aniston, has tested positive for the coronavirus. The Apple TV Plus series 10-part second season opened on the last night of 2019, with its characters unaware of the global pandemic that would claim the lives of more than 5 million worldwide. The reality of the virus bleeding into the scripted series provided a sense of normalcy for Aniston, the Friends star says. I would feel even stranger to be doing a western or something that had nothing to do, with it, where, you really had to just live in an alternate universe where COVID doesn't exist, says Aniston, 52. Jennifer Aniston reacts to that shocking morning show death. Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon on what's next in season 2. She recalls the series writers reworking scripts while production was shut down and observing how news programs were adapting in real life. They were trying to figure out how we could weave, COVID-19, into our show without banging people over the head with it, because, of course, you're like, I don't know. How long is COVID gonna be around? Are people going to want hear about COVID? It's plausible Alex contracted it while visiting her former morning show co-host Mitch Kessler, Steve Carell, while he was in Italy dodging the fallout from his sexual misdeeds. Mitch warned Alex upon her arrival, in the season's seventh episode that he was quarantining. But Alex, dead set on obtaining a statement from Mitch falsely claiming they never slept together ignored him. In the same episode, Mitch drove his car off a cliff, a death Aniston described to USA Today as so heartbreaking. Alex is dealt yet another blow following the death of her confidant, although this wound is self-inflicted. She trips over a pair of heels in her dark bedroom in the early hours of the morning and wakes up in the hospital bed to a ringing cell phone. Her agent, Doug, Will Arnett, informs her she has a minor concussion and has tested positive for COVID-19. The Shrink Next Door stars Will Ferrell and Paul Rudd analyze the truly heartbreaking comedy. Brings swagger to new Apple TV Plus show inspired by his life. Eniston says her character's diagnosis is very poetic, in a way. It's the final straw just to take her fully down to her knees and strip her completely naked. In the season finale, streaming November 19th, Alex becomes very ill from the virus. But in real life, Eniston says she's been quite cautious during the pandemic. She told In Style in a September cover story she had to limit her social circle to keep those around her healthy. I've just lost a few people in my weekly routine who have refused or did not disclose whether they had been vaccinated, and it was unfortunate, Aniston told the magazine. I feel it's your moral and professional obligation to inform, since we're not all potted up and being tested every single day. Aniston's remarks generated headlines, but the actress tells USA Today her comments were misrepresented. I wasn't cutting people off, like, how dare you not be vaccinated? She explains, 
It felt like my responsibility as a human being because there are people that work here in my office who are compromised, health-wise. The reality is, if someone who is unvaccinated comes into my home and they are asymptomatic, and they don't know that they have it, it's a very dangerous situation. So for me, it's being mindful of people who have health issues. How Apple TV Plus became one of the best streaming services. Jennifer Aniston distanced herself from people over COVID-19 vaccine.